Hi again everybody! My name is Lai and welcome back to my channel. Today, pag-uusapan natin ang cards and end screens, paano ito gamitin at paano ito isa-top sa ating mga YouTube videos. Please keep on watching! So before I start teaching you kung paano ilagay ang cards at end screens sa mga videos natin, ano nga ba ang cards at ano din ang end screen? Yung cards is something that you've already seen. I'm sure nakita nyo na to. For example, ako, I always, always use cards talaga. Uh, kung napapansin nyo sa older videos ko, I say, um, gumawa ako ng video tungkol sa first YouTube sweldo ko. If you want to watch that video, please click this link right here. So, um, I point here kasi kung isa-set up natin yung card natin, dito siya lumalabas sa upper right. Upper right ba? I'm not sure kasi kasi baka baliktad yung orientation ng video. Basta dito sa taas, tapos may letter I na parang icon. Tapos kung ikiklik nyo yun, may lalabas na video. It directs you to another video na kung ikiklik nyo yung another video na yun, um, mapupunta kayo sa another video na yun. And you can watch that video. My other videos, and gumawa nga pala ako na YouTube 101 tips, tutorials na playlist. Please check that out. Sinergo ko magkano for YouTube. So, aldo ko, paano magkaroon ng 1,000 subscribers. So, yung cards is super useful kasi kung gusto nyo mas dumami yung watch hours nyo or para ma-binge watch or para sunod-sunod yung pagnood ng audience nyo uh, sa mga videos nyo, you always have to use cards para malaman nila na ah, pagkatapos ko ang panoorin tong video na to, papanoorin ko yung video na sinabi niya tungkol sa first YouTube swallow niya or how to get 1,000 subscribers or how to get 4,000 watch hours, ganun. Um, you can put five cards in one video tapos ikaw yung ano magsiset up niyan kapag na-upload mo na ang video mo unfortunately sa pagkakaalam ko hindi siya pwedeng gawin sa cellphone so ako after i upload my videos using my cellphone i go to my laptop tapos dun ko i-set up yung cards so right here i have my laptop i am going to show you how i set it up so to teach you paano talaga siya i-set up step by step i'm going to to show you my screen so nandito tayo sa youtube studio ko this is my channel dashboard and let's go to videos like piliin natin kung alin yung video na gusto natin lagyan ng card so let's say yung latest video ko which is paano gumawa ng thumbnail using your cell phone the app pixart uh, dito tayo sa lower right and let's click on cards Tapos, dito pwede mo siyang i-scroll yung buong video mo and hanapin mo yung time na sasabihin mo na please click on this link. Actually, you don't even have to say please click on this link. Pwede kahit nagsasalita ka like ngayon, biglang may lalabas dyan na card or biglang may lalabas dyan na eye icon. Pwede din naman. Pero ako, I like to really tell my audience na may lalabas dito na link. Please click on that link. So, Let's play my video. Tapos hanapin natin yung part na sasabihin ko. You can watch my other videos. Ganon. So, let's see. Anong sinasabi ko sa part na to? Feature ko kayo kung may mga magagana kayong tanong. But baka na, nasagot ko na yung mga tanong nyo. Just check this playlist. Ayan. So, when I say, just check this playlist. That day, at that time, gusto kong maglagay ng playlist. So, by the way, hindi lang siya videos, but pwede din siyang playlist, pwede din channel, pwede din link. So, for this, lagyan natin ng playlist. Wait, iusog natin ulit ng konti. Para timing talaga, when I say this, lalabas yung playlist. Or yung but, baka na, nasagot ko na yung mga tanong nyo, just check this. Ayan. So, when I say this, parang gumano na ako, ilalagay ko yung playlist. Just tap on this. Tapos, yung playlist na gusto kong ilagay is YouTube 101 Tips. And, let's tap on. Let's click on Save. So, wait. I-check natin ulit kung tama ba pagkakalagay. And if you feature ko kayo kung may mga magagana kayong tanong, but baka na, nasagot ko na yung mga tanong nyo, just check this playlist. Ayan, so when I said, just check this playlist, may nakalagay suggested YouTube 101-tips, letter I. So kung nanonood kayo ng video na to, pwede nyo panoorin ngayon, check nyo kung meron ba talagang ganitong lumalabas. When you tap on that letter I icon, lalabas yung playlist ko, and lalabas yung mga videos. Pwede din namang hindi, ano, Pwede ding hindi playlist, um, video talaga, like iisang video lang. It's still the same, lalabas yung eye icon. Papakita ko sa inyo, let's say randomly, uh, maglalagay tayo dito sa kalagit na anong video ko. So, hindi ko na lang siya babaguhin. 
save it. Tapos makikita nyo na yan sa camera. So, let's say there. Gusto natin maglagay dyan. So, let's click on plus card. Parang add card yan eh. And video. So, yan. Nalabas yung mga videos mo. And you can click on any of that. Paano nag-viral ang video ko? Let's say, ganyan. And save. Okay. We'll check again kung nalagay ba yung video ko or yung card na yan. Next, tapos save it. Tapos makikita nyo na yan sa camera roll nyo. Ayan. Or let's say, for example, gusto naman natin na baliktad and so, may lumabas ulit na letter I icon tapos may suggested paano nag-viral ang video ko. So, your audience, kung nanonood sila, man malalaman nila kung um, may gusto pa ba silang panoorin from your channel after they watch your video. So, hindi po muna sila aalis, which is good kasi they will remember you more or they will like you more or they will find out more about your channel. That your channel is really very informative or nakakaalir or entertaining, di ba? So, that is how to use cards. Next naman is how to use end screens. End screens is, it has the same function as cards, except that after the video pa siya lalabas, kaya nga tinatawag siyang end screen. So, yung end screen ko is ganito yung itsura, I'll flash it on the screen, kasi pinagawa ko talaga siya sa isang graphic artist. Shout out to my friend, Delight. She was the one who created my end screen, my logo, yung beginning ko na screen na how to mommy na super cute and super ganda. Siya yung may gawa. She's a graphic artist based here in Cebu, but you can work with her from anywhere in the world, from anywhere in the Philippines, because online lang naman lahat ng transactions, diba? So, please uh, check her out. Ilalagay ko yung link niya sa description box below if you want to create logo, pap papagawa kayo ng logo ng design, ng anything graphic for your website, for your brand, for your online platforms. So, ayun, siya yung may gawa ng end screen ko. Pero, to be honest, you don't really need to create an end screen na ganitong layout. All you have to do is just set it up on your YouTube channel. Ako kasi dati, um, nagsasalita ako minsan, nandito ako sa gilid or whatever, or parang sobrang lapit ng mukha ko sa camera. So, when I put my end screens, nagsasalita pa ako, parang sinasabi ko na, thank you very much for watching, ganun, tapos may mga videos na sa mukha ko, parang natatabunan yung mukha ko. So, I wanted to create an end screen na layout talaga, para yun talaga yung ilalagay ko every end of my video. But, kung wala kayong ganong layout, end screen layout, pwede ding hindi na lang muna. Basta, for example, ganito kayo mag-outro. Thank you very much for watching. See you on my next video. Ganun, ganun. May lalabas na na videos dito. And yung videos na yun is pwedeng i-click ng audience mo para yun yung susunod nilang panoorin. So, it has the same function as cards except yung cards is in the middle of your video. Up to 5 cards ang pwede mong ilagay in the middle of your video. Pero yung end screen is talaga nasa end of the video. And you can put, I think, up to 4 videos. So, lalabas dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, apat na videos. Tapos, may circle na yung parang channel logo mo, which they can click so that they will subscribe or visit your channel. Para mas maintindihan nyo, ipapakita ko yung end screen ko sa inyo. Let me flash it on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to always be grateful and stay positive. See you on my next video. Ayan, so usually lumalabas yan every end of my video. And ipapakita ko sa inyo sa laptop kung paano mag-setup ng end screen nyo, whether or not meron kayong ganitong layout. So still on this page kung saan tayo nag-edit ng cards, dito na naman tayo sa end screen. And automatically, dadalhin ka ni YouTube sa pinakadulo ng video mo. So what I do here is, pumipili lang ako dito ng end screen set, like end screen layout uh, na gawa na ni YouTube. So, ito is, this is the one from my latest video kasi na may dalawang video dito sa gilid tapos yung circle na parang subscribe. And then, pwede din namang ito, which is wala yung circle, wala yung circle sa middle. Pwede din ito lang, isang video, and then yung basta something ganyan. Na, it's very understandable naman. And then, I just choose this one, import from latest video kasi yan yung gusto ko. Yung may dalawang video sa gilid and then yung subscribe na channel ko dyan sa sa gitna. So, actually, ito yung sinasabi ko na kapag alabas na siya, na nandyan pa yung mukha ko. So, when I play that, Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one. Ayan, diba? It's weird. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one. Tapos may parang circle na dito sa mukha ko. So, you can actually move that. Pero ako, hindi ko na lang siya iuusog kasi I have an end screen right here. I'll show you. Yun nga ang pinagawa ko, diba? 
So, ayan. Sakto siya. Diyan sa gitna. Thank you for watching and see you on my next one. And then, sakto din yung dalawang videos sa gilid. Tapos, by the way, itong dalawang rectangles dito sa gilid, pwede ikaw ang mag-setup kung aling videos ang lalabas or aling playlist. So, for this one on the left, um, I can choose whether it is my most recent upload, it is best for viewer, meaning yung YouTube na yung pipili kung ano, ano kaya most likely yung gusto kong panoorin ng viewer. Or it can also be something that you specifically choose. So, choose specific video tapos pipili ka from all of your other videos. And pati na din yung sa gilid, ako kasi yung gusto kong ilagay is playlist para diretso silang, um, kung pinanood nila kung paano maglagay ng thumbnail or gumawa ng thumbnail, for sure they're also interested kung paano gumawa ng end screens like this video and paano mag-grow on YouTube, ganun. So, that is all about end screens. By the way, pwede nyo siyang paikliin or pahabain like that kung kailan nyo siya gusto mong lumabas. This is actually a huge tip for growth. Like, kung gusto nyong makuha yung 4,000 watch hours as soon as possible, cards and end screens, they are very useful kasi papanoorin ng tao yung videos mo one after the other kasi malalaman nila. Kasi for example, if they're watching just one video, parang hindi nalam if may magagana ka bang other videos. Sometimes you say, please check the link in the description box below. Sometimes nakakalimutan nilang gawin yun. So, Yung cards especially is very important and very useful. Kasi kahit first minute or first two minutes of the video, parang bago sila mag-click out kasi baka boring yung video mo. At least may nasabi ka nga, uy, panoorin nyo tong video na to, just click this link here. Minsan, if it's not a very nice video, hindi na nila makikita yung iba mong videos na mas maganda kasi nag-click out na sila or they weren't very interested. But, when you tell them that you have other videos, then there is a possibility na may chance ka pang magugustuhan ka nila kasi napanood nila yung iba mong pang videos. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope may natutunan naman kayo from me. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe. If you have other questions for me or suggestions for my next video, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to check this link right here that's the YouTube 101 playlist madaming videos dyan about YouTube tips and tutorials I hope you can watch all of those videos and see you on my next video